This is a preview for the start of a new series of audio vlogs I'll be working on in the coming months, focusing on movies and other media from a pagan perspective. Greetings and welcome to Media with Magic. You can call me Jackie, and today I'm not bringing you a film or book or TV show to talk about, just providing some background and an idea of what's to come. To tell you a little about myself, I teach writing and research at my local college here in the mountains of eastern Kentucky. I have a master's degree in English, and I'm a creative writer who loves movies, but just also happens to be garbage with a camera, hence why you're staring at a still image right now. I'm also a practicing eclectic Wiccan, and you'd be surprised at the ways in which being a witch and a former English major will intersect with one another. In particular, I am a total nerd for correspondences, or what English majors often refer to as symbols, metaphors, and other literary devices. What I went to college and graduate school to learn to do just happens to align very well with how I practice my religion. Just as in a book or a film we can sit and analyze a written or visual image for all its implications, so too do Wiccans look at objects and occurrences in their everyday lives and understand there are additional meanings and suggestions that come with those images. When you're the sort of person who does this for fun with everything from books to movies to TV shows to music, Having it appear in your spiritual life is kind of the definition of living your passion. So what does this mean for this series? Each episode will focus on a given title. If it's particularly relevant to the pagan community in general, the questions and concerns will be addressed after a brief overview. I'll discuss the ways in which I believe it relates, maybe with some relevant history or factoids, and other bits of research I feel are relevant to bring to the table. Always bear in mind that my perspective, though, while pagan, is not the only valid one. You or others may have particular criticisms of a given piece of media that I'm sure are valid. These just happen to be mine. The first subject I will be addressing, just in time for Beltane, is Edward Woodward's The Wicker Man. 